The mystery of the Great Pyramid has been solved by Nikola Tesla. The mid-19th to early 20th century saw a flurry of inventions that changed the world as we know it today. From the telephone, phonograph, and light bulb to alternating current electricity, X-rays, radio, and automobiles, scientists of that era created marvels that transformed human existence. One such visionary inventor was Nikola Tesla, who gifted the world with his ingenious creations that we continue to rely on even today. But what happens when a relatively modern scientist picks an interest in ancient technology? Well, there was probably no one other than Tesla who could have succeeded in solving the mystery of the ancient Egyptian pyramids. And although it wasn't obvious at the time, there's now more than enough proof to show that Nikola Tesla had solved the mystery of the pyramids through his inventions. So, stay tuned to find out all the mysteries behind the pyramids and how Tesla solved them. As a child, Nikola Tesla was quite fascinated by the natural world and often copied its principles into his inventions. He believed that the mathematics of fractal geometry was the key to understanding life. The mathematics of fractal geometry is simply used to describe the principles of limitation and the order of the chaos from which life is born. Therefore, Tesla thought there were certain patterns and even geometrical mechanics that are universal, and that studying this could help us understand how the universe works and how to harness energy, sound, and vibrations. Due to his understanding and the application of these principles in his inventions, Tesla became known for his contributions to a wide range of scientific and engineering fields, including electromagnetism, wireless communication, and energy transmission. He purported that it was possible to utilize the energy present within the Earth and distribute it across the globe wirelessly. Despite being born 2,200 kilometers from the pyramids and over 4,500 years after their construction, his ideas were very much akin to pseudo-scientific claims of how ancient civilizations built the pyramids as an alternative source of energy. According to mainstream Egyptology, the pyramids were built over 4,500 years ago as tombs for pharaohs and their consorts. The largest and most famous of these pyramids is the Great Pyramid of Giza, which was built for the pharaoh Khufu, and it stands as one of the most magnificent structures ever created by mankind. The other two pyramids at Giza were built for Khufu's son Gavri and his grandson Menkau, respectively. But interestingly, the Great Pyramid doesn't have the characteristics of other Egyptian tombs. It has no markings, no hieroglyphics, no statues, and neither were there any mummies of dead pharaohs it was built for. A little curious, isn't it? Well, there's more. In the construction of the pyramids, the builders used a certain unique type of limestone that lacks magnesium, making it an excellent insulator. In contrast, regular limestone can conduct an electrical current whereas the limestone used in building the pyramid cannot. It was also discovered that the interior chambers of the pyramids were constructed with rose granite, a rare type of granite with a high concentration of silicon dioxide, also known as quartz. When compressed or moved, quartz generates piezoelectricity, which creates a charge with a positive and negative phase, and when connected, an electrical circuit is formed. The king and queen's chambers were constructed with granite that contained 85% quartz, while the tunnels and passageways were lined with quartz-rich granite. Applying pressure to this granite could generate a significant amount of electricity, essentially turning the pyramid into a massive power plant. There is evidence to support this theory, and it comes from the pyramid itself. Inside the pyramid, Drawings can be found on the walls, which provide proof that ancient Egyptian civilizations used electricity. This has also been backed up by numerous discoveries from the ancient Egyptian empire, such as torches, gold-plated statues of pharaohs, and it's speculated that they used electricity in their weaving mills. In 2018, scientists set out to confirm this by conducting experiments to test the theory that the Great Pyramid could concentrate electromagnetic energy in its internal chambers and base when in a resonant state. To do this, they used radio waves at different frequencies to see if the pyramid would interact with electromagnetic waves of a resonant length. The results of their experiments proved that the pyramid can indeed concentrate electromagnetic energy when in a resonant state induced by radio waves. 
Therefore, many people now believe that the ancient Egyptian symbols on the walls of the pyramids showed that they generated electrical energy by using the electromagnetic waves of the Earth. Ultimately, the most convincing piece of evidence is the precision with which the pyramids were constructed. They are aligned with the compass so accurately that only modern engineering could match it. Research shows that the Great Pyramid is almost a match for the stars in the Orion constellation, with a footprint of over 13 acres aligned within 1 15th of a degree of true north. The base of the pyramid is leveled within three quarters of an inch, a feat that can only be achieved in modern structures using lasers. The pyramid's openings were also made to let starlight shine into Pharaoh Khufu's tomb. There were holes created by the builders to allow the absorption of moonlight by the pyramids. This has led some scientists to consider it plausible that the alignment of the constellation along with the pyramid's geographic location enables the pyramids to produce waves powerful enough to illuminate the planet's major cities. They believe the builders of the pyramids constructed a power-generating machine that was finely tuned to the natural harmonic vibration of the Earth. While many skeptics question the validity of this theory, the scientific possibility that the Great Pyramid was a structure for creating, harnessing, and focusing energy cannot be denied. From the materials used to construct its interior and the design and provision of its exterior, the technology they created thousands of years ago could generate unlimited clean energy. And that brings us back to Tesla. In 1905, he filed for a patent titled The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through a Natural Medium. The patent detailed Tesla's plan to tap into the Earth's ionosphere to provide energy for mankind. He believed that the Earth was already an electrical generator that was spinning between two magnetic poles. The structure is known as the Tesla Experimental Station or the Wardenclyffe Tower, and it shares many similarities with how the pyramids can be used to generate energy. First, just like how the pyramids were built considering the constellation, Tesla's towers were being built in light of the Earth's eccentric orbit on the equator. His theory was that the Earth could be used to conduct the signals in the atmosphere, and the towers would help in the transmission of energy over very large distances. Next, Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower was being constructed atop an aquifer and had copper and iron rods that extended into the water and when electricity was channeled into the tower, it was intended to be transmitted globally through the atmosphere. Interestingly, the pyramids were also built above an aquifer, and just recently there's been the discovery of copper pipes and iron rods in them. Currently, no one knows exactly what became of the capstone of the Great Pyramid, or if there really was a capstone. But were the capstone to be fashioned from gold, the pyramid's energy would concentrate at its peak, and would then be transmitted to the atmosphere. Thus, like the pyramids, Tesla's wireless energy distribution system would have employed Earth's resonance and would generate limitless, environmentally friendly, and essentially free energy for all inhabitants of the planet. Unfortunately, he passed away before he could further develop his theory and bring it to life. The project was ultimately abandoned in 1906 due to financial constraints and a lack of funding and the tower was later demolished in 1917. So, while many scientists in the past had concluded and written off the pyramids as mere archaeological monuments that showed off ancient Egyptian engineering skills, this information has revealed the indisputable fact that centuries before, a technologically advanced ancient Egyptian civilization existed. It also exposed the fact that they used clean and renewable sources of energy and these same values and principles found in the ancient knowledge of pyramids were also present in Tesla's works. Had Tesla been successful with his experiment at the Wardenclyffe Tower, electrical power could be different and more widespread today. So, perhaps if more modern scientists studied the pyramids outside of the usual architectural interest in them, we could gain insight into energy generation through natural mechanisms, and by combining this with Tesla's technologies, the world's energy problems could be solved. So, tell us, do you think the pyramids were really used to generate electrical engineering in ancient times? And what do you think could have triggered Tesla's realization of the same concept? Also, if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more awesome content.